Hello everybody, welcome to another reading vlog. So currently it is 2 o'clock on Monday. Today is the 18th and this week is going to be a interesting one. Today was my last day of finals. I was literally at my school for like five minutes because I just handed had to hand in a couple of papers and that was it. And then I came home and I haven't done anything since then. <laughs> Uh, my mom is up in New Hampshire to visit my aunt. She's going to be there for the rest of the day. And my brother and my dad won't be home until later in the day. So I pretty much have the entire house to myself for the rest of the day. For at least four to five hours until my brother and my dad get home. So right now I am actually importing last week's vlog onto my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and get that up on YouTube. I already did the editing and everything. So that will be up shortly but this week uh let's see what's going on i am not doing anything majority and that was my computer so sorry for that noise on friday my best friend and i are going to go see the new star wars movie i'm dying to see it we're both huge star wars fans and we have tried to avoid spoilers since it came out last friday i actually got to see the force awakens on opening night when that came out and i saw rogue one on opening night when that came out last year. I unfortunately didn't get to see The Last Jedi this year on opening night, but that's okay. We're going to go see it this Friday. And then this weekend is obviously Christmas, so that's going to be really exciting. Happy holidays to everybody who celebrates holidays, whether you celebrate Hanukkah, you know, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate, happy holidays. I'll, be, I'll have a great one. So right now I'm going to go ahead and finish editing last week's vlog and get that up, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, everybody, so it's now 8 o'clock, and... I have only done a little bit of reading today. I was listening to mostly my audiobook all day. I haven't really had time to sit down and read the rest of the Night Circus, but I am still enjoying my audiobook and I'm almost done with it. I have about six more hours left to go because it's a pretty long audiobook. But for now, I'm going to go ahead into the bath and pick up an ebook, which I'm really excited to pick up this one. I'll tell you guys about that afterwards. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's currently 11.30, and I just finished cleaning my room and doing a couple of other things around the house to get ready for Christmas this weekend because my mom's entire side of the family is coming over to have a Christmas party. So I had to get that done, and I did. And I was listening to my audiobook while I was doing that, but that's all my reading I've done today. Last night, I managed to get to page 320, 330 of the Night Circus. So I am almost done. I only have about 150 or so pages left. So that's pretty damn cool. I don't know how I feel about this book yet, you guys. I originally was going to give it a 2 star. Now I'm thinking it's either going to be a 2.5 or a 3 star. I'm not quite sure yet. I have to see how the rest of the book goes before I decide. It's just not my favorite. I think it's very overhyped in my opinion. But I'll talk more about that when I finish it. And then on ebook yesterday, I got an advanced readers copy from HarperCollins of Zenith the Andromeda Saga by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings, which is my most anticipated release of next year. So I'm so excited to read that. I started it last night when I was in the bath. I got like 15% of the way through it and it's so good so far. I am loving it. So thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me that. I am very excited to finish that up and give you guys my entire opinions on that. So that is my update for now. For the rest of the day, I'm pretty much going to be still cleaning my room and getting it ready for this weekend. And then probably I'm going to try to do some writing later because I really want to get that first draft of my book done. If you guys saw my NaNoWriMo vlogs, I'll talk about that uh, more in depth there. I'll leave a playlist to all my vlogs down below uh, so you guys can go check out my NaNoWriMo vlogs or any of the other vlogs I've done in the past. So that will be in the description bar below if you guys are interested in checking that out. But that is it for now, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit. So, very happy Wednesday. So, currently, it's actually 7 o'clock at night. I haven't vlogged all day. I've been pretty busy. This morning, I had an orthodontist appointment, and then me and my mom went to visit my aunt and uncle. So, I was there for most of the day, and then I came home and I did absolutely nothing. I've been a little bit under the weather today. My throat is kind of scratchy, if you guys can tell. I think I may be coming down with a slight cold. Hopefully, that isn't the case. But I have not been feeling well the past, actually past couple of days. Um, it kind of started yesterday when I woke up, but hopefully that will change. So right now, 
I am going to go ahead and read in the bathtub because you guys might be able to hear the water running in the background. I'm going to go hop in the tub do some more reading of Zenith and hopefully I can finish that up tonight because I'm really liking it so far and I will keep you guys posted. Good morning everybody. Happy Thursday. So as you guys can tell I'm still a little sick. I have my scratchy throat still. That doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon so hopefully that will change in the next couple of days. But I forgot to update you guys. Last night I ended up finishing the Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars. It was not for me. This was extremely overhyped. I was so bored. There was literally nothing going on during the entire book. I hated the romance. I hated the plot. The only thing I liked about this book and what, the reason why I didn't give it a 1 star was the writing style. I really like the writing style by this author and I do want to read more books from her but this book was not for me so that's why I gave it two stars. Now I am currently reading the book Thief by Marcus Zizak. Yes I am finally reading this book and I got to page 36 last night before I fell asleep so so far so good. I am really liking it so far. I don't know if it's gonna be absolutely for me I don't know if it will be a 5 star, hopefully that will, will be the case, but I don't know yet. I'm only 36 pages in, so I will keep you guys posted on that. So, currently it is about 11 o'clock, and I don't have much planned for today. My mom is currently out doing some errands, so she's out of the house and I'm home alone. I think I'm just going to end up watching YouTube for the rest of the day and do some reading a little bit later. And maybe work on that secret project that I've been hinting at about for the past like month and a half. I started mentioning it during my NaNoWriMo vlogs but I haven't talked too much about it. But I will do a whole separate video about that when it gets closer to the end of the year. So I might probably work on that a little bit later. But that's it for now and I'll just see you guys hey, in a little bit. I'm back with another quick little update. It's currently 8 o'clock. I still haven't done any reading today and my voice hasn't gone any better as you guys can tell but I was doing pretty much DIY stuff all day some stuff for my blog and then working on my secret project that I still haven't told you guys about but it's really exciting and I hope you guys are looking forward to it it will be announced in an upcoming video towards the end of the year so it'll be up in the next couple of weeks probably by the beginning of the new year but now I'm gonna go ahead in the bath as usual and do some reading of Zenith. I'm almost done with it and oh my gosh guys you gotta check it out when it comes out next month. It's so good. So that's what I'm going to go do now so I was talking with you guys. Okay guys so it's currently 9.30 and I just finished Zenith the Andromeda Saga by Sasha Allsberg and Lizzie Cummings and oh my god <laughs> it lived up to all my expectations. This is my most anticipated release of next year and oh you guys got you guys have to pick it up when it comes out on January 16th because it's amazing. If you are a fan of Star Wars or Guardians of the Galaxy, I think you would really, really like this book. I gave it five stars. Yes. It was so good, guys. Pick it up on January 16th when it comes out. It's just truly really amazing. So now I'm going to go ahead and write my review of that in the Night Circus. And yeah. So I will check it with Guys okay, afterwards. everybody, so it's currently 10.30 and I just wanted to stop in and check in with you guys. So, I, if you guys follow me on Twitter, which if you aren't, please go do so. It's linked down below. You would have seen my tweet of my reaction to the end of Xena by Sasha Hallsberg and Lindsay Cummings. And I tweeted it out and then I would check back like an hour later and Lindsay responded to that tweet. And I'll insert a picture here when I'm editing this video. But seriously, holy cow. Thank you so much, Lindsay. I know you're probably not watching this, but seriously, thank you so much. It means the world to me. So that was pretty exciting. And yeah, so I just want to give you guys that kind of cool update. And I'll see you guys probably in the morning because I'm probably not going to read for the rest of the night. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. So as you guys can tell, my voice isn't any better. It's gotten a little bit better than it was the past couple of days, but it's still not the best. But today is going to be a really fun day. So currently it's 9 a.m. And me and my mom are about to head off and do some errands. And then me and my best friend 
are gonna go see the new Star Wars movie finally it's been a week since it came out I wanted to see it last week but I had finals so I couldn't see it last week but I am going to go see it today and I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding it obviously I haven't been spoiled thankfully but let me know your guys' opinions down or in the comments I should say if you haven't seen the new Star Wars movie and what you thought of it I would love to know Obviously, don't leave any spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen the movie, but let me know what you guys think if you happen to see the new movie. So that is my plans for the day. When I get home, I'm going to try to film some videos because I really want to get some videos pre-filmed for next week because obviously the holidays are coming up, so I have to get those done. So that's my plans for the day, so I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, everybody, so it's now 6.30, and I got back from the movies a couple hours ago, and new Star Wars movie is officially tied with Revenge of the Sith from my favorite in the entire saga. Like, what an emotional roller coaster! I cried more times than I can count. I mean, it was very, very sad to see. You know, this is the last time we ever saw Carrie Fisher in film form before she passed away, which was last year. So, seeing her one last time in the movies really you know, broke my heart, and, you know, if anybody has seen the movie, I'm not gonna spoil it, obviously, because if anybody hasn't seen the movie, at least go do so. It was just very emotional, and there was so many twists and turns that I didn't see coming, and, yeah, I really, really liked it. My best friend also really liked it. Both of us were shocked by, you know, what the writers and editors did with the saga in this movie, but we both ended up really, really thoroughly enjoying it, and I cannot wait for episode 9 to come out. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding this movie. A lot of people are trying to remove it from the Star Wars canon. I don't see why, personally. I didn't see any scenes that were offensive to me, personally. Unless I'm missing something, then I don't think it should be removed from the canon. I think it was an important movie to include in the saga, but that's just my personal opinion. Of course, if you guys have seen the movie, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it, because I would obviously love to know, especially from my fellow Star Wars fans, because I think this is something, next year one of my goals, and I'll talk about this more in my 2018 reading, writing channel, and life goals when I do that at the beginning of the year, that I want to start including fandom more into my videos. So, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the new movie, and we'll go from there. So, now, I really don't want to have anything else planned with the rest of the night. The Patriots aren't on, obviously, it's Friday. Uh, the Bruins don't play until tomorrow. The Celtics, I don't think they're on, but I don't know. So, I don't have anything to really look forward to on TV. So, I'm probably going to end up watching BookTube, and then do some reading. I was going to do some filming but my voice is still gone pretty much. So I'm probably going to wait until tomorrow <laughs> to do that. Excuse me. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys a little bit later in the night. Good morning everybody and happy Saturday. So it is currently 1 o'clock and my voice has actually gotten a little bit better. It might not sound that great on camera but in person it does sound a lot better than it did the past couple of days. I have a nasty cough now though so that really, really sucks. But I'm still hoping that I'll be feeling better by tomorrow night, which is obviously Christmas Eve, or at least by Monday for Christmas Day. So cross my fingers and starting a prayer that that will happen. But today has been a pretty unproductive day. I've been working on that secret project all day again. That project has taken me a while and really shouldn't. I mean, I think I mentioned something about it when I was doing my NaNoWriMo vlogs. It does have to do with YouTube and you guys can probably figure it out by, by just by saying that. But I'm still not going to say it for sure because I want to have it done by the end of the year. But at this point, considering I'm sick and the holidays are here, that I don't know at this point. But I'm hoping to finish that this week. So probably there by the end of this week's vlog or into next week's vlog, hopefully it will be done. So, I will keep you guys posted on that. 
for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and watch the Bruins game and do some DIY stuff, and then I'll show you guys a little bit later in the day. Happy Sunday, everybody. So, it's actually 11 o'clock at night, and I haven't vlogged all day. It's been kind of a busy day. I've been feeling a little bit better than I have been the past few days. My nose is just so stuffed up now. My throat is pretty much completely gone, kind of, sort of. But my nose has just been running all day, so that's why I look so bearded right here. But that's not the main reason why I was busy. We had a few things going on today. Today's Christmas Eve, so that's pretty exciting. So things that went on today. Number one, the Patriots were on today. They were playing the Buffalo Bills, and we won. Yay! And then me and my dad cleaned my pet goldfish's tank while the game was actually going on. And then after that... Me, my parents, and my brother, we went to Christmas Eve Mass at my church. That's something we do every year. Uh, so that was at like 4.15 and then it ended, we left at around 5. And then came back home for 5 minutes, grabbed some food, and went up to my uncle's house in New Hampshire for a Christmas Eve party he throws every year. So that was pretty fun. We had a white elephant, which is kind of like a Yankee swap if you, ever, if you guys ever do that. We had that tonight. That's always fun. That's something we do every year. And now I'm back home. I've been watching YouTube since I got home like two hours ago. I am in the reading mood, but I'm not at the same time. Does that make any sense? I don't. But for now, I actually just started editing this vlog. I'm trying to decide if I want to put it up tomorrow or do I want to wait until Tuesday. I probably... I might wait until Tuesday because tomorrow is Christmas. So... I'm not sure. I will let you guys know in the morning, though. But, yep, that's my day for now, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, everybody, it's Monday morning, and me and my family just finished opening Christmas presents. It was a blast. I'm actually wearing one of my presents right now, and this is a Bruins jersey that was kind of a surprise that me and my brother both got in the mail. We don't know who it's from. It showed up on our doorstep a couple of days ago, and we have no idea who it was from. There was no return address. We think it's from my uncle, but we're not sure. So that was kind of a surprise. I'm also wearing this really, really pretty ring. So that's kind of nice. And I have another present coming in the mail that's a camera, because I film with my phone, so I'm officially getting a camera to film with. So that's going to be fun, so be on the lookout for that in next week's vlog. But yeah, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We don't have to celebrate Christmas. I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this week's vlog here. So at the end of this week, I finished two books. I finished The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And I finished Zenith, The Andromeda Saga by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings. I gave The Night Circus two stars and I gave... Uh, Xena five stars so it wasn't very interesting reading week and then also I am 200 pages into the uh, book thief by Marcus Zusak and I'm still uh, listening to the Bean Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson I have about five hours left on that on audio so yeah that is this week's vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already I'll be sure to have the books mentioned in this Leaks video link down below if you guys are interested in checking those out along with all my social media links so those include my twitter instagram goodreads and blog again those will be linked down below along with the books and also the playlist to all the other vlogs i've done about again everything is linked down below and with all that being said hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you soon for another video thanks for watching bye happy holidays